Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with a delicious cauliflower Alfredo. Just like spaghetti Alfredo, only with cauliflower. Not a lot of cream. Hardly any cream. So in my saucepan here, I got three cloves of garlic just smushed a little. I'm going to saute that in some olive oil just to toast it, maybe two or three minutes. I don't want it to brown. All right, I'm going to toss in my one head of cauliflower, just chopped up, big pieces. We're going to puree all this, so it uh, doesn't matter. And to that, I'm going to add water just about halfway up. You'll see, I'm going to adjust it here when this starts cooking. I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of dry herbs. i got a Provencal mix, some red pepper flakes, and about a teaspoon of salt. So you see that? You want enough water when this comes to a boil to kind of almost cover it. We're going to let that cook like that until the cauliflower is nice and soft and tender. In the meantime, I'm going to make the topping for this delicious spaghetti, which is going to be a very kind of crispy Parmesan breadcrumb. I'm going to take some breadcrumbs, some Parmesan, and a little tiny dash of olive oil. And over low, medium heat, I'm going to toast these. And you're going to see the cheese is going to melt. It's going to be kind of tan. Then it's going to be kind of light tan. Then it's going to be kind of dark tan. And then I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to throw in some salt. And I have some delicious fresh thyme here. You can use parsley, you know, wherever you're into. So I'm going to toss that around, and I'm going to set that aside. So that's going to give it a really nice little kind of crisp, crunchy texture on top. Once the cauliflower are tender and falling apart, I'm going to add just a little bit of cream, just a touch, just like a quarter cup of cream, just a little touch to give it a little richness because this is such a lean sauce. There's really no fat in this other than that little bit of olive oil. I'm going to take my stick blender, my immersion blender, and I'm going to puree that until it's a beautiful, smooth, creamy puree. So if you just did enough water to cover, you're going to have what's kind of a heavy, creamy-looking sauce. If you need to add a little more water, fine. I'm going to finish the seasoning here with a little black pepper. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. All right, the other things we need here. I have a half a lemon. looks like an orange, but it's a Meyer lemon. And a package, 14 ounces of Barilla whole grain spaghetti, which I love. You should always use that. does not taste like wheat pasta. I hate wheat pasta. Hate it with a passion. And to make it Alfredo-like, we're going to add some freshly grated Parmesan. Okay, so the heat's off. Throw the cheese in, stir it around, and it melts, and the sauce is done. All right, so you're going to boil your spaghetti till it's cooked. Drain it. I'm going to throw in the juice of half a lemon. Give that a toss. I want that thirsty, hot spaghetti to soak up that lemon juice first. So toss it around for a second. Then I'm gonna add my delicious, creamy Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna give it a toss, I'm gonna adjust, add a little more, and that is pretty much done. Of course you're gonna taste for salt and pepper. So what I wanna do here, I'm gonna plate this up, I'm gonna put a little more sauce on top, and then I'm gonna to top with some Parmesan cheese and with the very, very delicious, crispy, toasted Parmesan crumbs. I tend to overlook our vegetarian fans. So anyway, I thought I would throw them a bone here. Although, I guess throw them a bone is not really appropriate. Uh, so I guess I, I don't know, what do you do? Throw them a branch? And that's it. Very light, surprisingly light, yet full flavored, creamy, yet only a touch of cream. Tastes rich, but yet it's not rich. And totally meat free. So there you go, cauliflower alfredo. You should give that a try, even if you're not a vegetarian. It's delicious. Go to the site, get the ingredients, and as always, enjoy.